RAG stands for Retrieval Augmented Generation. It is the most widely used method to provide knowledge base to your LLM. Essentially what I mean is you can have a knowledge base, you can create a doc and you can feed this to ChatGPT and now ChatGPT will respond to answers based on the doc. Now this has a very huge use case. You can use it for your own business like restaurants, dental appointments, anything. For this specific video, I'm going to give you an example of a restaurant business. So I'm using this doc where we have the restaurant name, location, cuisine style, overview, menu, and a lot of things like opening hours, reservation policies. We also have some FAQs and we also have our contact information. So I'm going to feed this information to our rag based AI agent and then use chat GPT to respond to questions based on the information provided in this talk. But creating these rag AI agents are very complex. So in this video, I'm going to show you a very simple way how you can use N10 as well as Superbase to create your rag based AI agents. Before I teach you how we can make this rag based AI agent, let's see this automation in action. So as you can see that we have this entire restaurant business information in this talk and I have saved this talk in this particular drive folder. Now this AI agent has two workflows. This workflow will only deal with updating the knowledge base. So what we are doing is we have set two triggers. One is file creation as well as file updation. And using those, those two triggers, I'm saving the knowledge base into a super base vector DB. So if I click on test workflow, so when I click on test workflow, it simply caught that the file is created. It caught the file ID. It also deleted any previous records that we have and it's downloading the file and saving this into a super base vector DB. So here you can see that in super base, I'm using open AI embedding. So when I hop over to my super base, you can see that we have four records, but this entire document was converted or segmented into these four rows. And this is what semantic chunking is called. So we are chunking the entire doc into few rows and then we are creating an embedding. Now this embedding was created using an open AI embedder tool. So you can see that I've added a tool called open AI embeddings and this is creating an embedding for our entire doc. Then we have our data chunking method. So you can see that we have default data loader, which is based on this recursive character splitter. If I remove this tool, we have multiple tools like character splitter, recursive character splitter, token splitter. So for this use case, I'm using this recursive character text splitter. Awesome. So you see, so this was one action that we are updating our knowledge base as soon as we update our Google Drive. Now let's move on to the second part, which is our RAG AI agent. So we have updated a knowledge and we have created this RAG AI agent. Now what we need, we need a chat window so that we can communicate to this RAG AI agent. So I've added a chat trigger and when I click on chat, I can ask various questions like, what are your opening hours? So it goes over Postgres chat memory as well. So it's saving the chat into this Postgres and then it's retrieving the document into a vector DB. So you can see that the reply is, it says is we are open from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. on Monday, Monday to Thursday. For Friday to Saturday, we are 11 a.m. to 11.30 p.m. And for Sunday, we are 12 p.m. to 10 p.m. So this entire information was fetched from this opening hours data. Perfect. Let's try to ask some other question. I want to order a pizza. Can you suggest me one with cheese? So, so the AI agent is again in action. It is using Postgres chat memory to save the data. And then it is using super base vector store, as you can see here, to get the information. So you can see that the chat has replied. It says, I recommend trying Margarita pizza, with, which is a classic choice with cheese. So it, it is simply suggesting if you want a pizza with cheese, you can go for Margarita pizza. Awesome. So it has good now information about my business. Okay. So now that we're done with the demo, let's understand how we can create this complex AI agent. Now, if you want to get the template of this automation, you have to click on the subscribe button and join my discord community in the discord community. You will find the JSON file for this entire automation. Now you can click on the top right corner and you can simply click on import file. And this will create the entire setup for you in your Anytel server. And after that, you can simply make connections to your APIs and you can use this AI agent in your business. All right, so let's move on to a whiteboard therapy to understand how we can create these AI agents. So the entire RAG agent has two parts. Now one is RAG AI agent and the second one is knowledge base. Let's understand how we are updating the knowledge base first. So we are simply setting out two triggers. One is create a file and the second one is update a file. So whenever we create a file or update a file into our this drive folder, it will simply call the entire automation and update the knowledge base. So after we have set out these two triggers, 
we are going to download the file and then delete the old file as well. So this will ensure that the old data which was previously saved into Superbase has been deleted. So we are deleting the old file and after this we are simply storing this into a Superbase. So I'm simply saving this file into Superbase. So this is how a knowledge base automation will look like. Now let's see this in Anitin. So we are in Anitin and you can see that this automation is a replication of what we saw for knowledge base updation. So you can see that we have two trigger nodes, one is file trigger, one is file created and then we have file updated. And in this node we have a, a trigger set for changes involving a specific folder and I've set my folder to this rag AI agent. So you can see on drive that I'm in the folder rag AI agent. So whenever there isn't any changes into this folder, it will simply trigger this node. And then we have file updation node. So if there is any updation into a file which exists in this folder, it will again trigger this entire automation. Then we have a node which is set file ID. So when either of the triggers are being called, we are simply catching the file ID. So here we get the file ID and then we are simply passing this into our delete old records. So what it does is, we are deleting the old records based on the metadata. So as you can see in the metadata, so we have various things like number of lines, what is the source, what is the blob type, and we also have our file ID. So we are judging if the file ID already exists, then we are deleting this file and we are simply adding a new file. So after we have deleted the old record, we are downloading the file and we are extracting the data from this file. Now this entire module exists for Manitan, so we don't have to do much in it. When we, have, when we have extracted the text from this file, we are simply inserting this into Superbase. Now, th now this is a Superbase vector store and I've connected my Superbase using this credential and you can see that we are calling a table called documents. Now this documents table exists in my Superbase. You can see that we have a table called documents here. After I've connected my Superbase table, I'm passing out an embedding tool using OpenAI. So OpenAI provides an embedding tool which can embed which can create an embedding for the entire document. So here you can see that we have an embedding column which is simply the weights of vectors. So using these vector weights, we, are, we will be searching the data. So using these vector dates, we will be searching the data in the future terms. So in the future, when the RAG AI agent is going to get the knowledge, it is going to search using this vector embedder. It is going to search information using this vector data. After we have created this embedding, we are simply loading a default data loader. So you can see I've added a text splitter called recursive character text splitter, which simply splits the file if we have multiple number of empty lines. So it's going to split the paragraphs and it's going to speed it into a super base. Using that knowledge base automation, it has created these four rows automatically from one single document. It has also given the vector embedding for that. Awesome. Now let's move forward. So this was entire knowledge base automation. Now let's understand the second part of automation. For the second part of automation, we have RAG AI agent. Now what we essentially need is, we need a chat window where we can ask question and then we need our AI agent. Now this AI agent will have three parts. One is a chat module, which is going to be chat GPT. Then we have a memory so that it stores all the chat. So for that, we are going to use Postgres. After we have saved the chat, we also need the entire knowledge base. Now to get the knowledge base, we are going to use Superbase Vector Store. Awesome, now we have chat GPT, Postgres and Superbase. Now this AI agent will interact with all these three and will give us the final result. So chat window is going to interact with AI agent, AI agent will call all these sub modules and then return the final answer. Awesome, now we understand how the RAG AI agent looks like. Now let's see this in action. So when I hop over to Anytime, you can see that this is our RAG AI agent. We have a chat module, which is simply a trigger. And then we using this RAG AI agent, I'm passing out a chat module. So I'm using this chat module, which is OpenAI GPT 4.0 mini. It is one of the best models. And then we are using this Postgres chat memory. Now we can also see this chat history in Superbase. So you can see that we have a table called Anytime and chat history. So this is the chat history that we have done with this AI agent. So in the bottom two, you can see that we have two chats. One is from human and the next one is AI. So from human, I just asked him that I want to order a pizza 
can you suggest me one with cheese and this is the answer with the which the ai agent suggested so using this chat history we can keep the chat history into context of this ai agent so that in the future terms if we want to refer any previous chat our ai agent has the context for it after this i'm simply retrieving the documents from superbase vector store so the chat which i've sent up it is being sent to this retrieved documents and the vector superbase vector store is again embedding the question which i said and then it is searching so it is embedding the question which i've sent and it, then it is searching over the vector db using the vector so in superbase as you can see that we have these embeddings so using these weights it is searching which is the nearest weight and it is returning us the closest value after this we are using another chat module which is converting this information into a natural english language so we are simply converting this into na english language and then we are returning this to the user so again let's try it out how can i contact you so it is again going to retrieve the documents from a super base vector store it is going to convert this into an english language and it is simply returning us the result so you can see that it has given me the phone number the website as well as the email now for the scope of this video i am using a chat module inside anytime but what i can do is i can simply connect this to whatsapp telegram or even your website so we can have a chatbot integrated in your website that is using this rag ai agent on the back end and your customers can directly interact with this rag ai agent and get the desired answers so this was the entire automation for rag ai agent if you face an issue while developing this you can join my discord community and me and my team will be ready to answer your questions and if you like this video click on the like button as well as the subscribe button it may not look like much but it gives me huge boost to continue making these video all right i'll see you in the next one bye